Hello everyone, uh, Lee Geo 2002 here, and this is a book I have wanted for a while now. It's a couple of weeks old, maybe a month old. I'm not sure how old it is, but with stuff going on, Christmas and what have you, I have not had a chance to pick it up. But I've got it now, and it is the illustrated edition of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. And I thought I have to get this, so I thought we'd take a quick look. I'm not going to go through every page because with these books, I feel you should check them out yourself because the illustrations are fantastic. It is not by Jim Kay, who did the previous three, the three books. This is Olivia, Olivia Lum, Olivia Jill, Olivia Gill, yes. So uh, yeah, it was, uh, it's illustrated by her. And I thought we'd just have a quick look at some of the pages and this, I believe this is the updated version as well, so there's, yeah, here we go, there's a bit more uh, information on Newt Scamander now, because of Fantastic Beasts, the movie, and uh, it might mention, I'm sure it might mention, um, no, maybe not, I thought it might have mentioned his, you know, the whole capture of Grindelwald and stuff from Fantastic Beasts, but I can't see that here, maybe you can, I'm being blind, I don't know. So, uh, I thought we'd have a look at a few pages. Don't worry, I will lift it up. And so this is like for the for those of you that don't know don't know the proper backstory for Fantastic Beasts. Fantastic Beasts and Quidditch Through the Ages both started out as um, books that J.K. Rowling wrote in two thousand and one for comic relief, and it, tur it got turned into the movie <laughs> for last year. Well, and now it's gotten a series of movies. Well, it's going to get get a series of movies. And here we go, yes. So there's actually, this is, this is new. This uh, was included with the movie that came out. There's some new additions that have come out. This has gotten added in because of the movie. So this is a foreword by the author, the author being Newt Scamander. And... Uh, I'm gonna read this off camera, but I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna leave it paused. You can pause the video to have a look if you like. This is what it says. Okay, but another three seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, that's your lot. Okay, so <laughs> this is like. I mean, this is really nice. I'm just gonna scroll through a few now because, well, okay. First off, here we go. Here's an Okami. Now, I don't believe. Is this an Okami? This is th this is from the film, right? The, the Okami, the one that could, yeah, that could change size, is it? Because it was the Okami eggs that Newt gave to Jacob as collateral for his bank. Wasn't this what could change size? I'm pretty sure it is. That isn't how it looks in the film. But regardless, it's you know it's not gonna look the same. Uh, this is a. Rundu, East African beast. It's like a gigantic leopard. Oh, that is massive. I just noticed the size of that compared to... <laughs> I just noticed the size of that compared to the house. <laughs> that is huge. Okay. Uh, that's awesome. Like, <laughs> I'd, love to, I'd love to see a few of these. <gasps> Griffin, here we go. Yeah, uh, very close to a hippogriff, but not that close. This is a Peruvian... Oh, you also get a little bookmark. Cool. So this is a dragon, the smallest of all known dragons. It does look kind of small compared to that horse. But, so I mean, this is gonna be, this is just fantastic to read through. I'm gonna get rid of this out the way, out the way. Okay, so, oh, here we go. Here's all the dragons that were in the Triwizard Tournament. The Hungarian Horntail, the Norwegian Ridgeback. Uh, this wasn't in it. Hebridian Black. <laughs> Serious, his brother, it's not. So this is Britain's other native dragon. It's more aggressive than its Welsh counterpart. Ah, the Welsh would be the Welsh green. Ch yeah, Welsh green and the Chinese fireball. So these, it's nice that they've put all of these in because I know these are all dragons, nice. Doxy, never heard of a Doxy. Dummy guys, here we go. That's, um, what was his name? Did it begin with an F? No. It wasn't Fergus, was it? What was his name? Uh, I can't remember. I, I can't remember the demiguise's name from Fantastic Beasts. A Krupp. Looks like a dog. 
It, re it resembles a Jack Russell Terrier except for the forked tail. Oh, as a forked tail. I didn't notice that. <laughs> okay, that'll be that'll be the difference then. <laughs> uh, Chimera. Oh, Chimeras are always really looking cool. Cool looking. Centaur. Yeah, we've seen those in the movies. This is stuck. There we go. A bun bundman. And that was classi classifications as well. So that's cool. Creep creeping under floorboards. So that's Ashwinder, an augury, close to my mum's name, Acromantula. So here's the classifications of the Ministry of Magic classifications. You have X, which is boring, two X's, which is harmless and may be domesticated, so you can have them as a pet. Three, then you get right up to the top, known wizard killer, impossible to train or domesticate. So basically, run. And so these are really cool. See, these are just, this is like the text stuff. Brief history of Muggle awareness of Fantastic Beasts. So this is stuff to read after, like, whenever you want. And you have the Kelpies, which is, I believe Kelpies are pretty close to horses. Yeah, have Water Demon. Although it mostly appears as a horse. A Kappa, which is a Japanese Water Demon. Now JK Rowling did make some illustrations for this years ago. She made some sketches. Manticore, and she, uh, and a few of those designs made it into the movie. Um, a Murtlap. I've heard of the Murtlap in the from the books. Mundu. Phoenix. There we go. There's one of the best creatures ever, and you get like proper sketches. So, this is very nice. I like this. I wonder if they're gonna make a movie based on. Um, what is that? Are these? Pus oh, these are the pygmy puffs, right? Are they? I don't know. Quintiped. Carnivorous beast with a particular taste for humans. Oh dear. Remora. So these are, these are really, really nice. I wonder if they're going to do a movie based on Quidditch through the ages. <laughs> That'd be funny. You could just make movies based on Quidditch tournaments. That'd be cool. So yeah. Uh, so the Snidget. Oh, this is the one based on... Well, this is what the Golden Snitch is based on. Here we go. The Golden Snidget is an extremely rare, protected species of bird, completely round with a very long, thin beak and glistening jewel-like red eyes. The Golden Snidget is an extremely fast flyer that can change direction with uncanny speed and skill owing to the rota rotational joint of its wings. The feathers and eyes are so highly prized that it was at one time in danger of being hunted to extinction by wizards. <gasps> mean. The danger was recognised in time and the species protected, the most notable factor being the substitution of the Golden Snitch for the Snidget in the game of Quidditch. So this was used in Quidditch, but I'm guessing they got crushed quite a lot. So that's good. I mean, it's, a, it's it's nice little things like that that you love to find out about. The Sphinx. Human head and lion's body. For over a thousand years, it was it has been used by witches and wizards to guard valuables and secret hideaways. Nice. That's cool. So it's really nice stuff like this to find out. You ever you kind of wonder if like some of these are going to crop up in the next movie? It'd be so cool. What is that? This it's a giant snail that changes colour on an hourly basis and deposits behind it a trail so venomous that it shrivels and burns all vegetation over which it passes. So how big is that? That's a tree. Okay, that's a tree. That's massive. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Wow, okay. So yeah, I mean this that that's just some, but it's just it's fascinating to to see some of these creatures. Ah here we go, here's werewolf. So it's very nice to see some of these. And oh, just a normal winged horse. But Yeti. I'm I'm getting distracted, so I'm gonna stop. So this this is uh this was fifteen pounds on Amazon and I really think you guys should pick it up. It's uh sorry if my voice sounds weird. I'm recovering from an illness. So uh yeah, these are just some of the creatures that you can get from it. Uh Niffler, Okami Phoenix. So a lot of these in from the Fantastic Beasts movie. Um, they may not look the same, but it's the same creatures. So yeah, uh, and it's also got a bit of interesting text at the start, and yeah, you should pick this up. I've been meaning to get it for a while, but that's it. Right, guys, I'm gonna go, but I would definitely recommend this book. It's very interesting. The illustrations are gorgeous. So that's it for me. Bye, guys.